Hi guys, I'm showing you my radar mosquito today. In the background you can see some gameplay of me with my radar mosquito. So you get an imagination what I'm talking about. The basic strategy of a radar mosquito is hit and run. As you can see on this video, go in, get your kills and get out immediately. If the enemy is not putting up some anti-air, you can just stay a little bit around the base and farm. But always remember, every second you stay on the same position, the chance increases for getting surprised by an enemy air attack or by anti-air from the ground. At first assert that radar only to help my allies by showing them where the enemies are. Especially in small to medium fights, the effectiveness of your allies will raise hard and your scouting will hinder your enemies from performing surprise attacks. Pretty fast I realized Radar Mosquito is one of the best farming tools in the game. Here I am in a small fight right now. The fight is already won and my radar and farming makes it impossible for enemy units to get behind our lines. On this video I use high G F frame, vehicle stealth and radar. A banshee with thermal optics, so the enemies will will light up like Christmas trees. I also use a full certed booster instead of some rockets. You don't have to use exactly this loadout, it works also with out repair and hover airframe. So if you don't like to spend the thirds, you can use different loadouts, but I would recommend you to get the high speed airframe. If you love statistics, you can fly as light as sold without repair systems, and even if your plane goes down, you can continue the fight. By the way, kill death ratio means nothing, because if you fly as a light assault and you just undeploy when your plane getting killed, you will boost your kill death ratio very high. So if you like to push your kill death ratio because you think this is what skill is all about, then probably radar mosquito is one of the things you should go for. Because with a light assault, radar and a banshee and high speed, you can push your kill death ratio to 20 and above easily. The pilot who gets you down needs a lot of skill to not only get you, but he also needs to kill you while you are mid-air, because you can undeploy with a drifter jetpack in mid-air, so you can push your kill death ratio very high. But this is just another proof that kill death ratio does not measure skill. On the other hand, if you're using a vehicle stealth and you fly as an Inji, you are getting not only the bonus of showing up later on the minimap, it also gives you one second longer time if you're getting locked from enemy ground units. And with a mosquito full certed on speed, one second is a lot. And you can just fly away from the most rockets. Not talking about Tomcats. But most times you can even fly away from enemy aircraft because of your really high speed. When it comes to big battles, you can fly a mosquito like one of the strafer in World War II. So flying deep and engage with your machine gun. You can knock out some enemies and escape behind the next mountain or building before they even realize what just happened. The real big moments come up when you see an enemy squad forming to crash some position and you can farm them all because you fly around the corner, know exactly where the targets are and just kill them all. You can see this later on the video and it's really really fun. So have fun killing enemy squads, just wipe them all out and they will remember your name and probably will come back with four enemy aircrafts to hunt you down. At least when it comes to radar mosquito I would not recommend to go farming when enemy air is around. But in this situation I am so close to my warp gate, it is really hard for the enemies to get me down before I can escape in the warp gate safely. If flying low doesn't work, 
like most times on normal towers where the anti-air turrets just see you coming if you're flying low you can also fly on max high in the middle of the base and just nose dive on your enemies most times when you go for a nose dive you get one to three kills and can escape safely because they just realize too late from where you come and where you go. When it comes to, to the Vanna Sovereignty or the new conglomerate, the radar and the anti-infantry weapon works also on the Skite and the Reaver. But you have to play them slightly different, how you engage and when. Also, probably speed is not the best solution for a Reaver or a Skite. On my VS account, I, ha I have a PPA skite with full certed hover airframe because I just hadn't the certs to spend it for high speed and I'm not sure if high speed is the best option on a skite with PPA. PPA doesn't kill enemies as fast as the Banshee does but you can get crazy magazine size because it increases with 20 shots per rank so on rank 2 you have about 40 and rank 3 about 60 PPA shots in your magazine and you can do a whole lot of DPS so if you hover around with a little bit moving you can farm in small to medium fight extremely well and knock out whole enemy squads if you're joining a big fight where the enemy forgot to put up some anti-air or they are not ready yet, you can also farm really really hard with a PPA. While the PPA is not as good as the Banshee when it comes to flying deep and engage fast. So it's just a different playstyle but you can also have a lot of success and fun with your PPA and the radar. In in air-to-air -air combats, uh, PPA really, really sucks because of the low bullet velocity. The bench is much better, but far away from good. So if you're not really a lot better as your enemy, maybe it's a good idea to just escape and not engage in the air. If an enemy airplane tries to escape because it's already smoking, the banshee Mosquito is really really nice because with the high speed there is pretty much nothing which could escape you. On the topics of Reaver I can't give you any advice because I don't play the NC enough to make guides on how to fly a Reaver. So this was my guide on Radar Mosquito and PPA's guide. Now you can watch the rest of my gameplay and if you don't have the patience jump to 17 minutes and 50 seconds there you can see the reason why I think Radar Mosquito is big fun please give my video a like and just write in the comments some of your successes with this loadout if you enjoyed the video or it was helpful or entertaining for you please give me a like, subscribe for my channel and tell your friends about my channel See you next time, Mr. Basher. Uh, I'm between Gaga. Und jetzt brauche ich mir den Wow. Komm wir mit. Hi ho. So, der, wo da reingelaufen ist, äh, ich mal. Ich hab eine
bir de dikeyim. Habt ihr den Mio ganz alleine gelassen? Hätten wir nie machen. Vielleicht nicht mehr. Kann irgendwer mal schnell auf, auf äh, Magic wechseln? Wo ich die Wo? Ja, das ist ja vorher hatten. 
Ja. Na, dann holt sie runter, genau. Aber passt auf, über der Amp ist ein feindlicher genau Flakbeschuss. Oh, genau die gleiche. Über der Amp ist ein feindlicher Flakbeschuss. Also würde ich euch nicht empfehlen, über der Amp ist ein Ja, okay, dann hast du fast überhaupt keinen Kopf.
Scheiße, ich bin da leicht. Bleibt in diesem Richtung zurück. Achtung, ist so viel in der Luft. Aber hallo. Ich will den Banker überweisen zu fahren. Ja, ich oh nein, mach gerade die ganze Zeit Sturzflüge. Ja, dann gibt's wieder. Was ist eine gute Waffe für, ein, für die leichte Einheit auf Range? Ähm, Range. Äh, auf alle Fälle Jaguar. T5 AMK ist die Oder die AMK, genau, die ist auch. Oder die, die Lüms, die ist doch viel geiler. Naja, aber die, na, aber die AMK ist für Range, wenn du wirklich am Tower campen willst und die Leute abschießen in die AMK oder AMC oder wie auch immer, je nachdem, ob du Deutsch oder Englisch spielst. Wo ist der Sack? Ja, ja, komm. Ach komm, das ist ja Wahnsinn. Ja, die T5 AMK, oder? Ja, genau, die kostet 250 oder so. Ja, die ist aber ist, ist nicht wirklich also gut, also ich, die kannst du halt wirklich auf Distanz benutzen, weil das ist wie die Standardwaffe, zielt ein bisschen vielleicht der Spur besser und hat eine langsame Feuergeschwindigkeit. Aber kann halt, man kann halt, das, die benutze ich immer auf längere Distanzen. Nicht zu vergleichen mit, wenn es jetzt irgendeine Warnwaffe hättest oder so, aber. Ich dachte, haben wir überhaupt keine Überschussrüstung zu dir oder was? Oder Wahnsinn? Und da ist er weg. Also, ich Ich bin weg, kaputt Los. gegangen. Jetzt haben sie mich auch erwischt, haben nicht aufs Radar geschaut. Naja. Gut, ich bin schon das 20. Mal über die.